Okay, good morning. Um, so today, um, you know, we just got back from our little mini trip, as you saw, we went to Oregon, it was amazing. Spur of the moment, but I felt like it was so needed to go support our closest family and friends in what they were doing, and it was such a fun little weekend. Then we get back, and I realized yesterday, May 5th, was um, our little Leo's birthday. And of course, again, I feel like a major failure because I forgot. And Jenny was always really good at remembering that. And we made a little tradition out of it where we would get Mexican food because it was always on Cinco de Mayo, do something special. So we'd get this Patty's Mexican and we'd usually get cupcakes and celebrate. And then we'd let the kids each pick out a toy um, in honor of Leo. Um, so that it wasn't a sad day, but it was something fun to remember. So we're going to do that today. So I woke up today getting ready for work, getting the kids ready for work. And Huckle, our puppy, is just lethargic. And as you guys know from the little clips you've seen of him, he is not a lethargic animal. He has the most energy of anybody on the planet. So I instantly knew something was wrong. Then um, I go to pet him this morning and he instantly drops down on the floor and starts urinating on himself and I was like okay this is extremely worrisome what the heck so I called my brother-in-law who watched the house while we were gone and he said he didn't notice anything strange or weird about Huckle so it must be a recent thing Huckle's famous for chewing up things he finds and eating them so I thought okay maybe he got into something really bad and so I'm looking around I'm looking around I find a few things that have been chewed up that have been eaten by him that aren't good but nothing crazy um so anyway i sorry i'm blocking the camera i made an appointment to um take huckle to the vet this morning uh because i'm just worried about him he seems better right now than he did an hour ago an hour ago he wouldn't even like go near me now he's he came outside and ran next to me but he's not his normal himself so i'm hoping they can maybe pump his stomach or something I don't know so I'm gonna take him to the vet then hopefully this evening we can still celebrate um Leo's birthday but obviously Huckle's our main concern right now so I'm gonna go take him and see what happens Right, according to the vet, um, everything's okay with Huckle. She didn't see anything major in his stomach. She didn't see any major concerns with his blood, urine, poop. Um, she said she just could, he could have just eaten something not that didn't agree with him. Um, give it a couple days, even tomorrow, check in and call back and see. Um, I just brought him home and he didn't. I gave him offered something to eat and he didn't want to eat it, so he still doesn't have an appetite, but. She'll, she said give it a day, they gave him some antibiotics and see if anything gets better, but she said she's not too concerned. Um, everything else looks really good, he's not dehydrated, He's all of his organs feel good, the x-ray looked good, so I hope he's okay. But now to go to work. We're on our way into the doctor's because Winnie has an appointment. Winnie, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Winnie has her physical today, her kindergarten physical. So then after we do that, we're gonna go get food for Leo and then go get a prize. So we made it out of Winnie's appointment and the 
doctor said that she is perfectly healthy. Vision was great, uh, hearing was great, body was great, everything, and then we made it out of there. And then now we're celebrating Leo's birthday officially. We got our burritos. That's a potato taco, son. We got our burritos, potato tacos, drinks from Patty's, our favorite place. And then this park is very special. Jenny and I would come here often after getting Patty's. It's a beautiful little park and it has so much sentimental value because we'd come here um, to celebrate Leo's birthday all the time. So I took the kids here, keep tradition alive, and then we're gonna go get cupcakes for Leo. And then we're gonna go to the store and pick out a couple toys for Leo, for Ellis and Winnie. Um, but I think we're doing a good job of celebrating his day. So let's see our food. Daddy got his bean and rice burrito here. Winnie's chowing on her all rice burrito, my girl. Ellis got his big bean. Really, how big that burrito is, man. Holy That's smokes. Holy smokes. Is it probably finish this? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna finish mine. I don't know, we'll see. I could probably get to like right here. You think so? I could definitely not finish the whole. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. The weather is so perfect. I don't know if you can tell. It's such a beautiful day. So cold. And it's so peaceful. It's a little chilly when the wind picks up, but it's not windy right now. So Winnie and Ellis just admitted to me that something I've been putting in their lunch for the last two weeks, they said is disgusting. I mean, I didn't eat it today. You packed it today and I didn't eat it. Why? Yeah. I didn't even eat one. I, I didn't even eat three. I, I barely eat any. I just I, I just ate zero. <laughs> Glad to know I'm packing you a great lunch. No. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Leo. Happy birthday to you. All right, blow them out. Make a wish, both of you. Good job. It's amazing how much my hand feels rested when I use this selfie stick that I'm supposed to use when I film. Um, filming outside for my conclusion for today um, because it's beautiful out. It's a little too cold, but I have the um, heater going, so I feel good. Um, I wanted to summarize our day today. So today is one day after May 5th because we were coming back from Oregon on a short little trip, we did not get to celebrate Leo's birthday on May 5th like we always do. Um, but I didn't want it to go forgotten um, or unappreciated. That was such a special day for Jen. And it was such a special day for me for so many reasons. Um, we just loved to celebrate our baby boy that we lost and to never let our family, our kids, or us forget about him. 
and so we love to celebrate we love that it happened on a sad on a good day like such a sad thing on a really happy day Cinco de Mayo people are celebrating happy whatever so we loved it and to be honest I didn't remember I told you guys that earlier and I got a text from one of Jenny's cousins um, and she just reminded me of it and somebody every year leaves uh, a heart balloon tied to our tree that we have dedicated to Leo and it was on there again and it just clicked and it's another one of those things where obviously my brain is all over the place right now with everything going on but that's another one of those things that Jenny was so good at remembering and um you know we would talk about it what we were going to do how to make it special for the kids um because we wanted it to be a special day for them you know even though it's a hard thing and they don't truly understand or grasp the concept it's hard for them but anyway we wanted it to be a tradition that we continued so that forever and ever our baby would be remembered the one that we lost and if you haven't watched our miscarriage story, you should go back and watch it. It's on our channel. That's before we even were doing YouTube consistently. Jenny just wanted to film it and talk about it. And the main reason she wanted to film it was for any other woman out there who experiences a miscarriage and is saddened by it and is affected by it and is brought down by it and is afraid to talk about it. She's just always been an activist and always been a voice for people who are going through hard times. It's what she was destined to do. Um, but I'll never forget the night of the miscarriage. She was so strong that night. I mean, you guys saw how strong she was through cancer and battling. Um, it was the same when she was going through this miscarriage. You know, we had no idea we were pregnant. Um, we weren't trying, but we weren't preventing. Um, and this was in between uh, Ellis and Winnie. This was after Ellis. Um, we knew we always wanted a bunch of kids. Uh, we just, at that time, were not like actively trying. So we didn't expect anything. And she wakes me up. And Jenny was known for having really horrendous periods. It was just something she had where they were the worst cramps you could imagine, um, bloating, pain, uh, just everything. So we thought it was one of those spells. And I don't want to tell the whole story because it's on our channel, but the strength she had that night. And I walked her through each, what we didn't know, they were contractions. Um, we thought it was like really bad period cramps, but they became so consistent and were on like a timed schedule. And it reminded both of us of labor when she was doing it. Like it clicked for both of us, but we still didn't expect anything. And, you know, obviously then she happened to push our baby out um, and, you know, gave birth to him. Obviously, he was a tiny, tiny little guy, um, was only, oh man, I don't remember how many weeks they said she was roughly along. It wasn't very far. I mean, he was tiny. Um, and the doctor said it was their best guess that he was a boy, but we, we went with that and, um, named him and one of the cousins had a star named after him um just beautiful man but just remembering how strong and brave she was during all that of course she was strong and brave during cancer of course she was strong and brave in telling the kids she had cancer in telling the kids that she was terminal in telling the kids that she had days to live i mean she was so damn dang strong through all of her life uh, just truly a marvel, man. I'm so in awe of her. And I love that the kids and I followed through on today. Um, we did the traditions. We went and had Patty's Mexican. We went to the park where Jenny and I spent many little dates. And then bringing our kids there. Um, and then buying a toy for each of the kids. That was something Jenny wanted us to do. We also bought a brand new uh lego set that we're going to donate to we always want to donate something in leo's name too so we're going to donate a brand new lego set um to a foundation that takes um unopened brand new toys 
And then we had cupcakes and we just celebrate the day. It's a special day and um, we just want, you know, our kids know it as Leo's birthday and our family knows it as Leo's birthday. And I'm so glad that her cousin reminded me and my kids reminded me that it's a special day and we need to celebrate it. And we did. And it was, so, I'm so glad we did. It was so great. The day was beautiful and I love my kids so much. I love my wife so much. And today was all happy. You know, Winnie said in the car to me, she said, today is such a good day, dad. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> it really was. And you saw, I took her to the doctor. She, um, she was so brave and her height and weight were perfect and just everything was so great. And, um, her saying that was like, mm. doing something right as a parent, <clears throat> right? And then I sat down in the doctor's office and I hadn't seen her since Jenny passed and she didn't know. Um, and she said, how's everything? And I said, well, we lost mom. And she said, oh my gosh, tell me when. And and I told her it's exactly six months ago now. Uh, we lost mom and we're getting by. And she asked how I was doing. And I said, I think the kids are doing better than I am. And then I, you know, I began to explain to her, ah, I don't need pity. I really don't. But to hear from somebody out of the picture, say that you're doing a good job. It just kind of, it makes you feel good. And I told her, you know, yeah, I almost forgot I'm signing her up for kindergarten and I know she needs her physical and there's things she needs to get done. So I'm frantic. Thank you guys for taking me. And she said, you were so far ahead of the game. Some parents are going to call me weeks before, days before kindergarten asking for an appointment. You're doing great, Dad. So don't worry. nice to hear that from a person who knows nothing about me um, <clears throat> doing life alone is not <clears throat> it's not easy Doing life alone is not easy. Um, and sometimes when an innocent person who knows nothing of me, um, except for a chart in front of her, says something like that, you, um, you just feel like you're doing okay even though you kind of feel like you're drowning. I know I'm doing okay. I know that I could be better. I know that I could be worse. But I know I'm doing okay by these kids. And I get so emotional at night sometimes thinking. About. How hard their childhood is. It's that's so hard. You know, I thought I had a hard childhood, but. This puts it to shame. They are so strong. I'm so grateful for them. Um, so, grief, what was the quote I saw today? I took a screenshot, why am I looking over here? Grief.
it just kind of, um, somebody explained it in a quote and they said, grief is when you're doing things all day to survive and get by and do what you need to do for your family and your kids and yourself. And then when you get a moment, you just break down. Middle of the day, at work, in the restroom, watching a commercial, listening to a song, thinking of your partner. And the end quote said, and you realize that they're gone forever. And I know in spirit she's not, and I know she's not, but here and now, my wife is gone forever. That's it. That's the truth. She's gone. I don't have her here. I'm sitting outside alone. My point is, grief is so hard. Grieving is hard. Being lonely is hard. Not having a mom for your kids is hard. Being a single parent is hard. <laughs> Having only one perspective on a, on a situation is hard. But today was nice. And today was special. And I feel lucky and honored and blessed for the kids that Jenny gave me, for the house that we built together, for the life that we built. And even seeing Huckle so sick this morning, and now he's running around in the backyard. I'm just, I'm so grateful for all that I do have. Even though grief is really, really hard, and I don't wish it upon anyone. I really don't. So, Leo's birthday is success. Happy birthday, baby Leo. I know. I know you're in your mom's arms. I know you're together. <laughs> Coincidentally, Ellis found a penny yesterday, a bright, shiny penny where we went to eat. And tonight, Winnie found a shiny gold dollar. <laughs> and normally we say pennies are Jenny's thing, but I mean, a gold dollar. Um, you don't see those anywhere. She just found it. I love my baby, I love my wife, I love my kids, I love my dogs, I love my life, even though it's really hard, I really do. So love you guys, see you soon.